Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I would like to present a couple of um, well exercises or mini theorems, if you want, related to um, concepts uh, of similarity and Cavalieri principle. Um, the Cavalieri principle is something which was uh, discussed in the previous lecture, and obviously these um, mini theorems will be very closely related to uh, to this principle. Um, also, it will serve as a preliminary um, introduction into the volume of the pyramids, which is, which is part of the um, next topic. So, um, I have, well, two-dimensional and three-dimensional um, cases of uh, Cavalieri principles. And uh, I will start with the two-dimensional just as an, as an illustration uh, of the approach. And then I will use it for three-dimensional case, um, basically to present something which I will really be using uh, in the volume of the pyramids uh, topic. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm, I'm sure you remember the previous lecture about Cavalieri principle, but I'll just remind that uh, in the two-dimensional case, if you have two different um, uh, flat figures on the plane, and there is a baseline such that each line which is parallel to the base intersects both figures along segments of the same lengths. If that is true, so every line has these two segments of the same lengths. If this is true, then the area of these two figures um, is the same. Okay, now, here is the problem which I would like to present right now. A concrete case of two um, geometric objects on the plane, and I would like to prove that the Cavalieri principle for these two geometric objects is really held. So, here is what I would like to do. I have a line and they have two equal segments on it. And I have any point outside. Now let's consider two triangles. This triangle and this triangle. Now, for those of you who remember, and I'm sure it's everybody, that the area of a triangle is a half product of length of the base times altitude, and altitude obviously in both cases is the same because it's a distance from this point to the line. So this is our altitude, and obviously these two triangles have the same altitude. And as I said from the very beginning, KB is equal to CD. These two segments are equal as given. Then obviously the area is the same. So why bother? Well, let's consider you don't know this formula. And I would like to prove, using the Cavalieri principle, that the areas are the same. Now, what do I do? What do I have to do for this? I have to prove that any line which is parallel to some baseline cuts across these two triangles, and the sec and, and the sections are uh, of the same length. That's what I have to prove. Well, what is the baseline? Well, obviously the baseline should be this line where both bases of the triangles are lying. So now let's just draw one line, any line actually, which crosses both of those guys, and let's prove A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. And let's prove that A prime, B prime is equal to C prime, D prime. Now, if I prove that, that actually is a premise of the Cavalieri principle, that every line parallel to the base, and this is our base, is cutting segments of the same lengths. Then the Cavalieri principle will be held 
And if I accept the Cavaliere principles, which I do, um, I can conclude that the area, area of these two triangles uh, is the same. All right, so how can I prove that um, these two segments are uh, equal to each other? Well, it's actually very simple. Now, since these lines are parallel, then obviously these angles are equal to each other. Right? Two parallel lines and uh, and the one which uh, transcends them. Um, now, therefore, I can use the similarity. Now, the similarity of these triangles S A prime B, B prime and S A B uh, follows from the equality of the pairs of angles. That's basically the known theorem of similarity. Now, if they are similar, then um, all the uh, linear dimensions are proportional. So, in particular, I can say that A prime B prime relates to A B as, let's say, S A prime relates to S A. Or from absolutely similar, let's call this H and this is H prime. From absolutely uh, analogous similarity between S H prime A prime and S H A follows that S A relates to S uh, S A prime relates to S A as S H prime relates to S H. Now let's switch to this triangle. Now in this triangle, C G prime, C prime G prime relates to C G because these again the same angles, right? So these triangles S uh, C prime G prime is similar to S C G. So C prime G prime relates to C G as let's say S C prime relates to SC. And again, from similarity of SH prime C prime and SHC follows that this ratio is equal to this ratio. Now these are equal, which means these are equal. So a prime B prime divided by A B is equal to C prime G prime equals divided by C G. Now, A B and C G are the same. That's why these two guys should be the same. So these are equal. And that proves that uh, any line, because we didn't really fix a particular height, so it can be on any, on any height. So we have proven that the Cavaliere principle is held for these particular two triangles, which means that their areas are the same. Now, that's my first theorem. Now, the second theorem is analogous, but it's three-dimensional. Now, in a three-dimensional case, let's assume that on this plane I have two triangles. Of the same area. Now, let's assume I have a point here, S, and let's assume that we have constructed two triangular uh, pyramids, one with base ABC, This is 
with one triangular pyramid and another triangular pyramid with the base GEF. Two triangular pyramids. So, again, I know that the area of ABC triangle ABC equals to the area of triangle DF. So remember in two-dimensional case I had two segments lying along the same line of the same length. Here I have two triangles having the same uh, area and lying on the same plane. So we're just switching by one dimension up from a segment to a triangle, from length to the area, and from line to the plane. Everything is one dimension up. Now, my question is, for these two triangular pyramids, um, can we say that the Cavaliere principle is held? So, obviously we have to choose the base plane, which obviously is this one, and now I have to prove that if I will cut any other plane uh, parallel to this one, which cuts both pyramids, I will have uh, in the section I have triangles of the same area. If I will prove that, that actually means that my Cavaliere principle is held. So, let's cut with some parallel plane and the uh, and these are the sections, something like this, and something like this. These two triangles. So this is the the plane which cuts these two pyramids. It's parallel to this plane. Now. Remember what the similarity is in the uh, uh, three-dimensional space. We have to have a point, remember, and um, we should really introduce some kind of a scaling factor. Basically, it's the same as the two-dimensional case, obviously. So, my point is that triangles A prime, B prime, and C prime triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is similar to ABC with S as a center of scaling and the same factor obviously for, for all of these. Now, why is that the case? Well, let's just think about it. These are two parallel planes and S A B is another plane which cuts these two parallel planes which means that A prime B prime is parallel to AB, right? If we have two planes parallel to each other and the one which cuts them both transcends, then the intersections will be parallel. We did learn this in one of the previous lectures. Similarly, all other sides would be parallel. So all sides of this triangle are parallel to this one. Now, if you consider triangle SAB and SA prime B prime, they are similar to each other, obviously, and uh, well, because they are in the same plane, and these two lines are parallel, A, B, and A prime, B prime, which means angles are equal, uh, etc. So that's very easy. Which means that A prime, B prime. relates to AB as SA prime relates to SA. Now, absolutely the same we can say about uh, B prime C prime and A prime C prime 
and they are all be uh, related as far as the ratio is concerned to SA prime to SA because SB prime to SB has also the same ratio and then SC prime to SC has exactly the same ratio from different triangles, right? So they're all proportional, which means that all these three sides are proportional to these three sides, which means that these are uh, similar triangles. The ratio, the factor of scaling, we know this is basically some factor which depends actually on the distance between S and these two planes because if I will draw a perpendicular obviously it will be the same ratio between SH prime and SH right so these are all trivial stuff and if you remember whenever we have a scaling in the three-dimensional three uh, world if you have a flat figure and then it's scaled to another similar to this the um, uh, the factor should be squared if we want to compare the areas so the linear dimensions are changing by by a factor let's say f this is f factor but the aerial dimensions are scaled by the factor of f square so i can say that the area of triangle a prime b prime c prime is equal to uh, well multiplied by multiplied by f by the factor whatever that factor is square equals to the area of a b c okay now in absolutely similar fashion we can prove that the area of triangle of uh, D prime, B prime, E prime, F prime, D prime, E prime, F prime, times the same F square, because again, it's all related to the ratio between SH prime and SH. So the same ratio between this multiplied by F gives you this, equals to the area of triangle DEF. Now, but these areas are the same by condition, right? Which means that since it's the same factor, these areas are the same. So, what we get is that the area of the section, uh, areas of the section, which are two different triangles, are exactly the same, no matter where we put this plane. So that's my uh, three-dimensional equivalent. We have proven that if you have two triangles of the same area and common um, apex of uh, pyramid then we will have the same volumes very similar to the two-dimensional case so that's the end of my second theorem and the third one is basically a trivial consequence of the one which we have just proven and here it is And this is actually the theorem which I will be using when talking about volume of the pyramid. So let's consider you have a plane again, and you have some kind of a parallelogram on this plane. And you have a point somewhere. Now, let's connect and get the pyramid. This is my pyramid. Now, let's consider two pyramids. Instead of one uh, quadrilateral pyramid, we will consider two triangular pyramids. S, A, B, D and S, B, C, D. Now, these two triangles 
are two triangles of the parallelogram if we divide it by diagonal and they are obviously uh, congruent and they have the same area so basically we're just using the previous theorem which I have proven that these two uh, pyramids since they have congruent bases and the same common apex they must have the same volume so what I'm saying is that if you consider the quadrilateral pyramid and the plane SBD which basically cuts it into different triangular pyramid pyramids it cuts the volume in half because the volumes are the same so that's a very important point don't forget it and whenever we will go into the volume of the pyramid we will use it well that concludes today's lecture uh, I do suggest you to read the notes on unizor.com website which accompany this lecture um, well that's it for today thank you very much and good luck <laughs>